Okay, so we're going to have a look at how we can do uh, some modeling of cars or designs that you do in Tinkercad, but using this clever feature called SimLab. SimLab is really clever. It lets you move things on the screen so you can make cars that actually roll down slopes a bit like this. I showed you this on the transition visits. If you press this button here, the car runs down the slope, eventually falls off the edge of my page so let's have a look and see how we create that right so we start off with some shapes this is a shape called a cuboid it's just come from here and i've resized it 200 by 40 millimeters that's 20 by 4 centimeters created some wheels these wheels are six centimeters diameter at the back and they are three and a half centimeters at the front i'm going to grab these wheels oh i grabbed the them both by doing the shift button at the same time grab those and rotate them round do the same on these rotate them around 90 degrees so they're facing the right direction uh, next job i'm going to do then is i'm going to grab these and this one in the middle so I'll grab that that and that i'm going to go to a line I'm going to click on the one in the middle i'm going to click on the dot in the middle there and that should line my wheels up with the middle of my red shape do the same on these ones so click on that one and that one and then the shape in the middle go to a line click on that one click in the middle shape so those are a line now click on that one and hold that one down and push them that way so they're a little bit closer to the car I do the same on that one and hold the shift button down that one push them closer in as well try and make the distance the same Okay, looks about right for that. So grab the both of these things, everything, lasso everything, lift it up until there's a zero gap on there. That means my back wheels are on the surface, my front aren't. Okay, next job is where we get a bit of fun going on, right? So what we're going to do is go into SimLab by here. And in SimLab, you need to grab a axle connector. So I'm going to put four axle connectors on my page, one for each wheel. There's my axle connectors right so go back into design mode in design mode now all i need to do is i need to rotate those axle connectors that way make sure the axles uh big circle is facing towards the object that you want to align so i'm going to do the same on those two so you're going to grab that rotate wheel and pull them that way now i want to line them up so click on the axle connector click on the wheel you have to hold the shift button down remember at the same time go to a line click on the wheel Click on that dot, click on that dot, that's in line. I'll do the first one slow and I'll do the others quite quick, right? So you click on your axle connector and I see this little dot down the bottom with like a radioactive symbol. Drag it close to your wheel. You want to put the blue one, right, onto the thing that moves. The other one you've got has got a red handle to it. You want to put that on the one that stays still. Okay, so you've got blue going to the thing that moves, red going to the thing that stays still. Right, I'll do these really quickly, this one. So grab those two, click on the wheel and align again. One second, that one there. Click on that. That's the blue one, so that goes to the thing that moves. That's the red one, so that goes to the thing that stays still. You see what you gotta wait for? You gotta wait for that thing to shine up on the edges. That's in place. Go around the other side. And align these two, so it goes to that one. Hold the wheel down, click on that, click, click click that's good click on this one grab the blue one put it on the wheel grab the red one put it on the car this one align to this one grab the wheel click the middle click the middle click on the connector that's the blue one goes to the wheel that's the red one goes to the car okay so i have aligned my object and i have um put my axle connectors in place so let's now run the sim lab ready Give it a minute, it'll just sometimes flash on the screen as it as it calculates the physics of the object and then press play. There you are. So it's dropped onto its wheels now. Oops, and it started rolling backwards. I can stop it rolling backwards by throwing things at it. Just click at it and it'll and it'll drive it forward there. So you can push it off the table. This one's falling backwards as well. I better throw things at that one so I'll get that moving. Okay, but you get the idea. So if I press reset. We could do some experiments here, couldn't we? We could uh, grab all of these bits here. 
in that design and we can put them uh, next to this bit on a, um, on a wider ramp. So I'm going to move this car out of the way. In fact, I might just delete him and I might move this guy over and I'm going to make my ramp wider and I'm going to put this car on the ramp as well. We can see which one we think might go faster down the ramp. So I'm going to bring it up, click from the side view like that and I'm going to rotate it so that that's resting with its wheels on the slope like that. Drop it down, oops daisy, control Z, drop that car, just going to grab that car like that. I've got to drop that car onto the slope, let's bring it back a little bit so it's level with the other one. And then let's push it so it's on the slope. Okay, so this car's slightly bigger than the other one, and the back wheels are a bit larger as well. So let's see what happens. Press my simulat button and run the simulation. Okay, so not much in it. Um, right, let's have a look if we can go reset. Let's have a mess around with some of the uh, component parts, anyway. So this one here is made out of uh, steel, right? So I think that even though it's so smaller, it was made out of a heavier material. Let's try and make this one out of something like concrete. Okay, let's see what happens there. Run SimLab. Okay, let's try and make them both out of the same material then. Click on this body bit here and click it so that, that one's made of steel as well. And run. Well, there you are. You can have a good old mess around with that. Um, yeah, SimLab. With funny, uh, having a bit of fun with the thing.